In my last video, I showed how to connect I2C to uh, Jetson uh, Nano, and you can see it's still kind of connected there. I've got this huge giant mess on my desk, including my taxes, anybody interested in my taxes. Uh, this time, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about the uh, connection to Arduino. I have some, an Uno here, uh, Mega Arduino Nano on this desk somewhere in this huge mess, in this probably mess area right there. Uh, and, and I do have a workstation in, uh, out in my garage, but it is morning, so I don't want to go out there. It's quite cold. But I did want to get this video out to show folks that it is possible to uh, connect to an Arduino. Uh, it's possible to connect to I2C. It's possible to connect to SPI. Uh, your t any type of connection that, that you'd like to make in uh, Jetson. Uh, it is it is quite convoluted, the steps. So what I will tell you is that I followed a, a set of steps from both Jetson Hacks to install the latest version of Arduino on IDE on my Jetson Nano, which you can see running up here, as well as uh, uh, followed another tutorial from uh, a gentleman, I want to give him credit, uh, who uh, seems to post videos that are very focused on uh, robotics and uh, to Rare, uh, blog rareschool.com. So that's the gist of it. Uh, next thing is uh, having the Serial Pi connection. Uh, from Jetson to Arduino is is probably the most important thing, making sure that's working. Once that's working, uh, the, the rest of the connection is fairly simple. So you need your connection cable that is kind of standard on an Arduino. I'm going to plug that straight into the Pi. <clears throat> from there, you're going to make sure that your serial port shows up. And there's a couple of ways to do that. I found the best way is to to uh, look at the entire entirety of my uh, serial uh, USB stack and find the Arduino from there. Uh, fairly trivial to do. Uh, lots of code on the internet showing you how to do that. Uh, but if you need uh, some help with that, definitely uh, can help you as well. Uh, I did find that it was it was more interesting to find my own answers versus going after uh, too much of everyone else's tutorials is I want to learn exactly how things are done. And I love Jetson Hacks, but it also obfuscates some of the uh, uh, work that he had to do to uh, make his own system work. It makes things a little bit easier for us, but at the same time, you don't learn as much. Uh, so I do like to kind of go through and fight my way through. And once I found my answers, then I go ahead and uh, uh, used it myself, but you can see here, um, I'm showing now all of my USB devices. This is one way of doing it, but there's other, others, other ways, of course. <clears throat> and I've got my keyboard, I've got my, uh, mouse there. You can take a look. Uh, there is my Arduino. So there you go. I have my Arduino. It's set up. It's ready to go. Um, again, if I go back to the, uh, desktop again and I'm showing a picture of my desktop because I've got a huge mess on my desk here. But you can see that um, I have the uh, board showing there, the mega, the port that it's on, and uh, then a uh, programmer there. So there we go. Um, not much to this uh, sketch as well. Um, so you know, not, not a whole lot going on in either place. But um, again, so here's my setup. I've got my Arduino, I've got my uh, rain sensor, ultrasonic sensor, some of my favorites to use when I'm, uh, you know, trying to just implement, show some type of service. Uh, and let me show you how we get here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna restart uh, my machine. I'm just gonna actually shut it off completely. <clears throat> just to give you uh, some some indication of what's going on. And also, uh, while we have a heat sink right here, and it's fairly cool, typically um, heat sinks uh, for the uh, the 
uh, Jets and Nano get really hot really fast. Um, and it's suggested to put a fan on top of it. Uh, and so I have a fan that goes on the, the uh, Jets and Nano, um, the case over there. And I wanted to show you kind of what I have going on here. Very simple. Um, I tend to want to make sure the stack of, of uh, hardware works for me. Um, so I have my, uh, like I said, my I2C connection uh, set up here. I also have my uh, camera on the uh, camera port uh, right there, printer port. And then over here now I have uh, standard uh, keyboard, mouse, uh, um, I have uh, the access to my monitor set up here as well. And, uh, and then power. I, I have two variations of power here. One uh, from the uh, USB micro. That is not uh, how I would suggest you set up your power here. I have also a power cord sitting back over there. Uh, I was trying to see how little power I could uh, use. And there are two power settings on the Jetson Nano uh, that I'll show in another video. And it's, very, it's available on Jetson Hacks as well. I don't want to re-duplicate the content that's there. It's got great content. Uh, so next thing, here I have my serial port uh, uh, connected here. And you can see that the Arduino uh, has two lights on, uh, meaning it has a program that's not running. Uh, you can see here. And it's not communicating to anything else. So there, there we go, it'd be uh, flashing if it was communicating. And uh, then I have my ultrasonic sensor, rain sensor here. So if I wanted to just run that um, just on my Arduino, uh, first of all, download Arduino, which uh, you can find on Jetson Hacks uh, very easily. Uh, one of his last posts, and I can link it in the description. I don't kind of do all that mess. I'm sure you can find your own uh, links uh, from Jetson Hacks. And if I wanted to just uh, ensure that a program is working, here is Blink. Uh, Blink is a kind of standard program. I'm going to run it, and as I uh, run uh, Blink here, you'll see that it, it compiles and... Uh, uh, will run itself on the uh, Arduino Mega. There you go, you can see it's communicating, it starts to blink, it does its blinking job, and blink complete, and that was one wonderful and great. Uh, not a whole lot to that. Um, here's another one, here's one uh, now using the uh, ultrasonic sensor, and it has a little bit more complicated code um, here I've connected to pins 12 and 13 digital pins and also power 5 volt and ground uh, same thing is connected here as you look at my uh, I have trig and uh, uh, the echo and then I have the 5 volt and ground so same same connection back and forth I uh, can go over that, what an ultrasonic sensor does, basically a range sensor, one sense, uh, one side sends out a, uh, a sound uh, wave and the return trip is calculated in distance and time. Uh, so here you can see that code is right, kind of very similar right there, uh, this distance and duration. And I also, this is not my code, so uh, this is just kind of standard. You can find this on the internet um, as well. Uh, then there is a calculation here for uh, the actual distance and other ways to do that. I've seen people uh, find different ways to calculate it, but this is kind of the calculation. This is what it is. So uh, here we go. So we're going to run that. So first I'm going to verify it. Then I'm going to upload it. As I upload it, I'm going to show you what's happening here. There we go. So now something's happening. Great. So what do we figure out? How do we figure out what's happening? Uh, over in Arduino IDE, you'll see uh, the serial monitor. And here I can now check to see uh, what happens to be the distances that are showing up. Uh, doesn't seem to be exactly correct, but uh, it, uh, at least some, some values are, are showing up. It's probably, looks largely incorrect, but uh, we'll go ahead and work on that at some other point in time. 
again, not my script, um, but uh, the point was I wanted to make sure that we can see that there are values uh, being sent from the Arduino to the IDE. And I have this IDE running on the Jetson Nano itself. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what it's like to uh, see those values in Jetson and uh, in Python. Uh, but one, one really cool thing about uh, Jetson Nano is uh, it, it supports everything that you would expect from ROS and also from uh, uh, Python and uh, if you're a C++ user, C++. So I've got uh, lots of code. We're not going to go through all the uh, code that I have uh, running on Jetson, but I also have Jetson Isaac. I have uh, Jetson Jetpack. Um, this is our obviously Arduino sitting here. Uh, Jetson Inference, uh, ROS Basics, things like that, all running on the uh, Jetson Nano. Uh, so if I wanted to, I have a script to check out uh, uh, Python, a couple of them actually. Um, uh, uh, using the serial, uh, and that's something that you can find in the script that we, that we have on the screen here, and that's from that Rare School blog that I told you about. Um, and if you run that, uh, what you'll see is it'll print out anything that happens to be uh, being communicated from the Arduino. So you can see here, there we go. I'm having some distances show up. They're largely incorrect, but at least they're showing up and that's great. Uh, so this is Python now uh, understanding what's happening on the Arduino uh, using uh, Serial Pi. Uh, sorry, Pi Serial, I said that backwards. Uh, so anyway, that's a, a quick video on how that happens. Um, so now if you look at my stack here, I have uh, communication with uh, the Arduino, which is going to be great for my microcontrollers, which I have many hundreds of microcontrollers. Um, I think I'm going to connect. Let me just take a random controller off my desk. I'm trying to connect. Uh, oh, look at that. I'm going to take a uh, microphone and connect it to the Arduino next and uh, use the, the Arduino to send sound, sound signals back to Jetson. And that's going to be pretty cool. So then we can do some. Uh, seen a lot of people do a lot of video based uh, uh, work on the Jetson, but not a lot of sound. 